Hi guys, so today I have a mixed haul. I'm gonna do Home Goods, Hobby Lobby. Oh my God, the nails go straight through the skin. Just like straight in there. Okay, go ahead and tell them, tell them what you did today. He wants some of you to know that he's personally responsible for dropping off some of your books at the post office this morning. Yep, he fully assisted in getting the books in the car, driving the vehicle, and then putting, pulling the lever and putting the books in there. Also, merch. My merch store is back. Had to put it on pause so that I could get the bulk of my orders out. Um, and this is like one of my top favorites that I have in my Etsy shop. Um, and even though I started this whole video off with like fall, the fall aesthetic, I'm suddenly realizing that I think all of this is Christmas. So if that's not something you need to watch right now, I totally understand. Save this video, come back for when you're ready for Christmas. Um, but you know, here, here we go. I did make my coffee. I already sucked off all the 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 caramel, the whipped cream. Um, so there's that. And I'm keeping it away from me because it's in my best interest. And I'm gonna throw up some pictures here and kind of show you guys in case you don't know or you're new to my channel. This is how I shop. I highly recommend it. It is one of my favorite systems I've ever created. Um, and it's basically where I use the notes app in my iPhone and I create a checkoff system and I even incorporate photos, whether it's photos from my own home so that I can kind of remember my inventory or like look at my furniture kind of thing. And then I include inspirational photos from Pinterest and it kind of helps me shop that way so that I stay on track. So a lot of these things were on my list. So like for example, up first from Home Goods is this two pack of these beautiful large fur pillows. This was actually on my list for my bedroom. So I'll throw up that list here so that you can see it. Um, I am gonna also include prices in today's video. And the this set of two was $39.99. Listen, I feel like I'm always late to finding the most beautiful wrapping paper at like TJ Maxx or Home Goods. I always see people hauling it. I'm like, how how did you get your hands on something like that? And I saw these rolls right here and I, I scooped them up so freaking fast. They're just very vintage. They're really thick and extremely heavy, but I think that's because the paper is has like a thickness to it. It says that you can wrap approximately 40 gifts, $12.99 for this huge roll. Here is what this one looks like. It's a vintage Santa in his little caboose. And I'm even noticing right here, it says $12.25, which is so freaking adorable because that's my birthday. My birthday is on Christmas, but it's so fun to like see the date. So I really like that. Um, and then this one is more like planes, trains, and automobiles kind of thing. So we've got Santa on the scooter with the peppermint wheels, the car, the airplane. He's got a red car in here as well. There's just a lot going on in this one. Okay, still on home goods. I saw these stockings and immediately I knew I had to get them. Um, and I actually didn't have these on my list whatsoever. But the moment I saw them, I was like, this is like one of those things where I'm not gonna see it again. And the, the tassels makes it just so incredibly charming. $12.99, this sweater look. And I got this because I'll throw up my list for my office. I'm actually going to do a tartan plaid in there. I love all kinds of plaids, but my favorite um, you'll see in my living room. It's the one with the more of the red or the white background, but I'm realizing that I can have some fun in other rooms as well. And I'm gonna do that this year. And the moment I saw these two stockings, 
I thought, how fun would it be just to have like stockings in my office? Obviously, they're just purely decorative. Um, so still on home goods. I then had to get these mugs. But look at this beautiful gem. I don't normally go for colors like this, but it has such a vintage look to it. Found the matching. I believe it's matching. Um, they were not next to each other, but like, listen, it, it's the same maker. So it very clearly goes together. All right, so that was Home Goods. Now, actually, let's go into Pottery Barn and I'll just throw up some pictures here. As I was looking back at photos of my living room um, in the past two years in the Florida house and then the year before um, in the Dallas house, I realized, okay, yes, I did plaid. I love it. That's still the direction I want to go in. I was thinking about my... Um, my stockings, I have like the red tree skirt, I have the red stockings from Hobby Lobby, and I will repurpose those. But this year, I wanted to take my plaid further and kind of give my living room a hint of Ralph Lauren. And there, there are several pillows I've seen from Ralph Lauren. They are extremely expensive. I'm talking like $500. So instead, I found these really gorgeous plaid pillows from Pottery Barn. And um, so I'm throwing up pictures of those for you guys. I got two of the bigger square, one of the lumbar, and then they had a teddy bear pillow. And this pillow very much gives me Ralph Lauren, but a fraction of the cost. And I thought he was so freaking cute. Um, but it's funny because I ended up finding the pillow after I saw these stockings and I just thought the stockings were so adorable. Micah and I have never had stockings with our names on it. And both of them are the same. They are the little teddy bear. And then that's how I found the matching pillow, I guess you could say. And I decided to bite the bullet and buy the plaid blanket as well. So this is the plaid I'm talking about. This is my personal top favorite plaid. So I decided to buy this very expensive blanket. I don't know why, but I threw it in my car. I closed my eyes and I pressed place order. Now I'm gonna get into Hobby Lobby. So from Hobby Lobby, I picked up what do you know? This was in a video and I passed up on it. And then when I rewatched myself as I was editing, I was like, why? Why did I not get that mug? This has an entire set, by the way, at Hobby Lobby. They have the plates, the bowls, the works. It's very adorable. And on the other stuff, there's the actual like other characters in the Nutcracker. The Nutcracker, the, the rat thing. And I picked up this tree skirt. So this is what I'm going for in my office. This is the tartan plaid, the green and the navy. Then I found this kitchen towel and I'm so excited about this because if I could show you guys one image of how I would want my kitchen to be with gingerbread, this is it. The classic stripe, this old I don't know, just it's giving vintage with the stitching. And then look at the scallop trim. I was gonna say that I didn't realize that when I went to this Hobby Lobby, there was the boy gingerbread plate. Um, all of them I thought had the bow up here. So this was $10.99, but 50% off. Um, you can see, like this, that's what I'm going for. But I did get, Pretty sure, yeah, that at this, the next Hobby Lobby I went to, I did, yep, I got the boy. So, so excited. They have a lot of gingerbread this year. I feel like this year they were like, okay, people are, people are getting back into gingerbread. I also got a mug, which is so hilarious because, first of all, a moment for the mug. How am I supposed to not buy this? Someone tell me. Um, $19.99, that's a lot. That means this was $10, but it, it has a cute little topper. 
here. I really don't want to pull it apart just yet. Uh, and also, it, it's giving gingerbread. It's got all the colors. All right, so there's that. I actually have a couple of little things from Walmart. I'll go ahead and share those really quickly before we get into what I found from Amazon. Because, oh my God, that I got these for junk journaling. Oh, and they're honestly gorgeous as a garland, obviously. But I've got to use this for junk journaling. But look at that Santa. And then I, it's just, oh, I got it backwards, but what? How cute is that? But like, look, this one has a polka dot ribbon and it says joy. So. I'm going to throw up pictures to share with you guys because some of these things I don't have. Some of them are still in boxes. So pictures are just gonna be what's best and I will link them down below. I will go ahead and give you the price that I paid for them today, but you know, tomorrow, a year from now, because this video will stay up, the prices just change on Amazon, but I'll tell you what I paid for it today. Completely overpaid for this ribbon. It is the tartan ribbon, but it's beautiful, it's thick and that's what I was looking for. I did try to search for it at Walmart and Hobby Lobby Home Goods. I couldn't find it. So I resulted to this. I probably should have checked Michaels and Joanne Fabrics, and I think I will. So if I find it cheaper, I'll return this. Um, but I, I was searching for a nice, good quality tartan ribbon. I was definitely thinking of adding bows to the tree that I'm gonna put in my office. Next up, I actually have it here, but I got these pillow covers. Loki slobber, all ready. Let's just do it this way. I was definitely inspired by this photo right here. I've held on to this photo for a very long time. It's been my inspiration for a really long time. Now let's talk about Christmas trees. Everybody remembers the Christmas tree fiasco when I was moving to Florida. I lost all of my trees basically because rattlesnakes were in the bag. Yeah, yeah. But I had to buy a tree for my bedroom. Like I love adding a tree there. So this is the actual tree that I bought. It's very different from anything I've ever done. It has more of a rustic farmhouse look to it. It is a six and a half foot pre-lit aspen fir. As I was building my lists and I got to my bedroom, it suddenly dawned on me that I was gonna have to do all new bedding for Christmas because my bed previously was a queen size and I went back to a king. And I fell onto this TikTok where this girl showed like her Amazon finds for Christmas and I loved everything that she had. It was completely up my alley. So I ordered the sheets that she had. They are from Amazon. They are the GH Bass Spruce Trees, 100% cotton flannel. You get the sheet set, the flat, the fitted, the two pillowcases. Um, and I just loved the print, how simple it was with like the little green trees in it. Definitely will flow throughout my house because I'm also gonna put plaid in there. Um, in her video, she then showed an Eddie Bauer king blanket. It's like a reversible fleece with the faux shearling, I guess on the other side, this color green, absolutely love it. Again, it will flow so nicely throughout my house with having that plaid look. And I think these colors too are also a nod to Ralph Lauren. She also showed these pillows on her bed. They were this army green color and I, I just liked everything that she did on this bed. So I went ahead and got these pillow covers. I did a 20 by 20. As you saw here, I've got the fur pillows. Those are going to be the main ones in the back. And then I'm going to have the green one so it'll pop from the green of the trees and the green of the Eddie Bauer blanket um, and then she also had this Merry Christmas lumbar pillow um, also from Amazon thought it was so cute loved the pop of red and then over her bed she had a plaid throw um, 
And I do have some extra plaid blankets as well that I'm gonna use. So the Pottery Barn that I got, that one's gonna be for the living room, but I do know that I have some other plaid throws. I'm gonna reuse those and I'll put those on my bed. Um, and it'll just kind of tie in that that red of the pillow. I don't know quite yet how I'm gonna do this tree. I don't know if I'm gonna leave it just natural, completely natural, no topper, a, tr a skirt of some kind just to cover the bottom. Um, and I actually think I'm gonna go with a white fur. I'm gonna go with a white fur tree skirt that matches these pillows and I know Hobby Lobby has it. Anyways, that's it for today. I started off with fall. I hauled all Christmas things. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below, let me know what your aesthetic is for Christmas. I actually wanna see if, how many different varieties there are. Like what are your colors? What's your thing? Are you like into reindeers? Are you into Santas? Are you into like the little Christmas villages? Are you into trains? Um, I definitely would have to say that in my kitchen, I'm gingerbread and the rest of my house, Ralph Lauren-esque. Country Ralph Lauren-esque is how I would describe my style for Christmas. Um, but that's all. Also, I have fully planned out Plaid Week. Plaid Week is coming back this year. I'm very, very excited about this year's Plaid Week. So don't forget to subscribe before you leave so that, you know, my videos show up in your feed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.